The term statistical learning is really just describing um, pattern recognition ability that's really robust across all human beings from babies to adults and even exists in some animals like chinchillas. Um, and it gets at a way that people learn that's called implicitly or when you learn something without trying. And because it's so powerful, it's a really great thing for clinicians who are trying to teach people things to know about. For those of us who are within the field of speech language pathology and who are applying these principles to treatment, we're really excited to share that information because we've been able to get some very exciting results. You know, we're seeing kids learning patterns rather than in individual exemplars. Uh, we're seeing this improved behavioral compliance. Um, we're seeing things happen faster. So I think for those of us who are um, doing some of this, we just wanted to share that to get people to think about a different way of doing things that are getting some exciting results. What people will learn if they can get past the title is what this is and how it works, what kinds of things are amenable to statistical learning. So um, words, grammatical patterns, reading, spelling, a lot of things that are really important for communication are related to uh, statistical learning. There are ways you can use that. And people who read the issue will learn about what are some of the principles. So not just what is this, but how could I actually take some of these things put them into my therapy and make it something that I can use. So we'll teach principles about how to do that. There'll be some examples of what that looks like in different experimental studies. And there'll also be um, some reviews of what it looks like in populations that people might wonder about. Well, what does this look like in people who are bilingual? Or what does this look like in people with intellectual disabilities or um, people who have cochlear implants and process input differently. So um, it'll get a pretty broad view. Um, there'll be take home things people could do kind of the next day. And I think it also set them up to be thinking about um, as, as new information comes out, they'll be in a position to use it because they'll, they'll be on board the train. <laughs>